after an amazing year here at Air Venture 2023, it's time to leave. Today we're flying from here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Three hours up in the air, come on board, let's go flying. show rocking and rolling pretty quick it is so hot in here right now Whew. all right we're gonna be doing a battery start so unfortunately we don't have the AC on until the engines auction is in breakers are in two four six nine lights gens are on Ten. standby okay. flight display is on Battery has been on Emer, then on on, tested. Fuel and quantity is balanced. Visualization, working on that. Cockpit voice recorder, not applicable. All right, parking brake is set, wheel chucks removed, cabin door, I closed it. No passengers. Seat seat belts are System on. Test. Engine okay. instruments. Clear. AC is definitely off. All right, clear right. We got 25 uh, volts. We need 24 to start. We'll start number two first. Here we go. We got N2. Introduce the fuel. There's ignition. We got N1. Pressures and temps coming up. Waiting for the relay to come out, and it's up. We got the anus. Let's go in there. Clear left. And two, and just two. Touch the M zero off the Delta. Slow down. Right turn next hard surface and uh, follow flag man to park. Welcome. Uh, Roger uh, zero off alpha. We're going to try here at B two eight five zero off alpha. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's it. We're going to have. Speed taxi down to the left. Okay, high, high speed down if you can. As uh, fast as you can, we got parts just coming out right behind you. Hard speed down, pay fights are off. I'm sorry. AC is coming on max. All right, we have an IFR slot out of Oshkosh. We're very fortunate to be able to get one of those. So let's pick up our IFR clearance. Oshkosh ground, good morning. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot clearance to Jackson Hole, please. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot clear to Jacksonville Airport as filed. I'm, I'm sorry. Fear. Two Romeo Foxtrot, stand by on your route. All right, well, we're waiting on that. We'll do our, uh, before taxi, AC is on, we love it. Uh, electric elevator trim is set, takeoff band, autopilot. Autopilot. Is good. Aileron and rotor trim is centered and centered. Flight controls, I'm up, down, free and correct. Flap check. I'm up. And I'm down. I'm up. Saw Jackson 2, Romeo Foxtrot, clear to Jacksonville Airport as filed. Time to maintain 3,000. Expect flight level 43010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 127.0. You can expect your beacon code on your takeoff clear. All right, so 3,000 initially cleared. Jacksonville has filed 43 and 10. Departures 1270. Expect the beacon code on the roll to Romeo Fox. Just want to confirm, clear to Jackson Hole. I think you keep saying Jacksonville. Uh, Julia Duffin, Charlie. Yes, appreciate it. Thank you. Citation two, Romeo Foxtrot, just let me know when you start moving around. We'll do it, thank you. All right, 3,000 is set, 3,000 is set. 430 and 10, departures 1270. 
And we'll get the beat cut on the roll. Flaps are 15 in the K15. Speed brake is checked. Ice protection systems are definitely not needed. Uh, we'll get our flight plan in here. It's literally two, uh, three VORs, so uh, we love a nice, simple route. We're going to be off of runway uh, 27. First fix is the uh, Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot VOR, Redwood Falls, and then we'll go into the Charlie Zulu India VOR, and then Denor. Delta November Whiskey, direct Jackson Hole. 26 November, thank you for that. And uh, if there's going to be a TBM rolling from the north, you should be the next IFR departing 27 after that TBM. So uh, just monitor. All right, takeoff data um, is in. All temperatures 2997 set three times. Line. Landing elevation is set for Jackson Hole, 6,451 feet. Messages are checked. Two Romeo Fox shot taxi on a bath letter 27. Two Romeo Foxtrot, right, I understand, leaving Basler. Thank you. Let me know when you make it into that line on 523. Two Romeo Foxtrot, roger. Clear left, clear right. Awesome service here at Basler. Every year they just, uh, everyone does an amazing job. All right, taxi, lights are on, brakes feel really nice. Nose wheel steering is definitely moving. Flight instruments are no, checked. 941 IFR to Ellington Field on course. And ground citation to Romeo Foxtrot approaching Bravo 4, 2, 3, and 5. All right, we'll do our before takeoffs. Ice protection systems are checked, passenger seats, no passengers. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot. Thank you. Are you going to go get in line at 523? Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm good on the 23 and 5 at Bravo 4. Affirmative. Two Romeo Fox shot. We're good on. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, clear left. Looking good. We're getting in line. It's busy. This is awesome. All right, here we go. So we got the sign off our right there, IFR hold, keep right, so we're going to do that. Things looking good. All right, set the parking brake and we'll finish our checklist here. All right, flaps 15, indicating 15. Trims, one, two, three times are set, centered, and centered. Crew briefing. All right, so Oshkosh, obviously it's air venture, it's busy, a lot of airplanes. We're going to keep our eyes out, even though we're IFR, there's traffic everywhere. Anything below V1? That's 100 knots today, it's max braking. For us, levers idle, we'll plan a right turn off and taxi back to Basler. Anything above V1, that's 103 knots. We'll take it up in the air. If it's critical, on fire, loss of directional control, something bad's happening, we'll plan a left or right downwind. Uh, obviously looking out, talking to air traffic control, and we'll plan it back uh, for runway 27. If we can't continue to Jackson Hole, but we gotta get out of Oshkosh, uh, it's just not critical, but we gotta get it fixed. We'll go to Milwaukee, there's a texture on the service center to the southeast, and uh, Right over there. So that's the crew briefing. Go around button is set. Take off, take off, and V nav. And uh, we should get a heading and our beat code from tower. So really busy uh, morning here. It's about 9 a.m. We have a 9:15 a.m. IFR departure slot. It's 9:15 right now. So we're still looking good, but it's a lot of airplanes. Uh, it's Thursday of Oshkosh. Got here on Sunday. Been a, been a truly amazing week. It's uh, my favorite week of the year. It's just the best. So. Already looking forward to Oshkosh 2024. But uh, gonna get back in the zone here and uh, get ready to depart. We'll uh, talk more once we do get airborne. Hi, hey, everybody that hears my voice is gonna love me. Um, NASA don't listen, but all the IFRs, just a heads up, it's gonna be an hour delay um, for saturation, just a heads up. The ground term, can we depart VFR then? 
couple people keyed up at once. Uh, I think two Romeo Foxtrot was asking to depart VFR. Yes, sir. If we could depart D VFR, that'd be great. Yeah, two Romeo Foxtrot. Just let uh, the controllers on one, two, eight point seven five know your position and intentions if you're going to depart VFR. All right, one, two, eight, seven, five. We'll do it, two Romeo Foxtrot. See ya. Do you want me to remove that flight plan out of the machine, or you can try to pick it up in the air? Yeah, we'll pick it up down the road, probably uh, sixteen five. Uh, outside Oshkosh, two Romeo Fox. You said 12675, right? 128.75 for two Romeo Fox, right? And uh, obviously just cancel your clearance. Yep, I uh, got it, two Romeo Fox, should see it. And 414 Golf, yeah, just Center behind is uh, with you and I am not with him. Thank you for the clarification, I appreciate that. Oshkosh Tower, citation to Romeo Fox, you're on 2-3, uh, we're going to drop our IFR and uh, depart VFR with the delay. Citation, that is you want to go VFR, is that correct? Yes, sir. Citation, runway 27, line of point. 27, line of point. Oshkosh Tower, Bonanza 9102. Here we go. Number one, also on 2-3, we're going to... Center, runway 27, line of point, right side, blue and white Cessna, runway 27, line of weight, left side. All right, we're lining up, up, uh, line up weight, uh, 27. Three Alpha Zulu Oscar, runway 27, line up weight, uh, right side, low wing Bonanza, runway Checklist. 27, line up weight, left side. Looking good. Clear left. Number 5306, uh, disregard, hold short. So 1,300 feet until outside the Delta, and then we can climb. So we're going to go 1,300 now, five miles. Two, three, uh, we're going to go VFR. Stand by, guys. All right. Got the lights on, waiting for our departure clearance. We've got the light on, ready to rock and roll. Everybody on departure when you're able. Everybody on departure when you're able. Side step to the right. There's going to be a citation departing. Departures uh, that are departing plan on heading 270 to 360, out of 1,300. Citation, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Take takeoff, do so. Let's go flying. Stable. Take off. Station clear for takeoff, runway 27. Clear for takeoff, 27, turn off. Takeoff power is set and achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed's alive, both sides. Uh, my 70 knot checks. Runway 27, uh, line of void, right side. Low wing, Cherokee uh, or Comanche on the left side. V1. Runway 27, left side, line of void. Rotate. We're 240, lean plopper, runway 27, line of void, right side. Pause there, eight, gear up. B2 plus 10, flaps up, yaw damper, flight level change. Heading select, climb power. All right, nobody go toward fifth, please. No one it needs to fly toward with. Door 5 4 Papa, runway 27, cliff takeoff. Go into climb, well below four, climb five, power. 4 5 Papa, affirmative 27, cliff takeoff. Number 2 0, uh, two, 4 Lima Papa, 4 Lima Papa, runway 27, line of void, right side. Uh, 6 Alpha Golf, runway 27, cliff takeoff. My uh, twin, runway 27, uh, line of void, left side. Zero to Quebec, I need you on the runway, runway 27, line of void for the VTL Bonanza. All right, we're just Quebec. looking for traffic. We got traffic off our right-hand side there. Vision, uh, one runway take runway 27, line of void. Looking for traffic, got twin, another traffic off our right-hand side. We got another one at our 10.30 to 11 o'clock right there. All right, everybody departing, no turns towards this. No turns to the south, please. They are inundated with arrivals. All departures, we need you heading 270 to 360 out of below 1,300 feet, so you're clear of the Delta. All departures over the runway, side step to the right for departure. The vision jet run. run All right, there's traffic off the uh, left, off the right there. We're looking for that. All departures, just side step to the right a little bit. i got a vision jet departing. Uh, Bonanza 02, Quebec to start us a taxi. I'll have a clearance for you here shortly. All right. Go to Quebec is uh, only two. In four flight, runway 27, line of point. We're zero to Quebec, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27, uh, zero to Quebec. All right, there's the traffic off our right. He's climbing, or she's climbing. All right, we're outside the Delta now. Uh, Mr. Beachy, pull up to the Turn to avoid that airplane. Hey, pulling up to the runway, kind of gentlemen. All right, we're climbing up, 16.5. Uh, All right, that, that traffic's no factor. Six minutes, two ship. Copy. Climb power. Mitsubishi, runway 27, line of weight. Line of weight, 800, Julian. Mitsubishi, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear go, 800, Julian. 
flight level change. 16-5 set, flight level change 222 uh, knots. Flight runway 27, uh, line of point. Departure heading 270 to 360, out of below 1300 feet. No turns towards disk, no turns to the south, please. Number 2 Kilo Kilo, runway 27, right side, line of point. My high wing Cessna, yeah, runway 27, line of point, left side. Cirrus 1 Sierra Romeo, right side, runway 27, line of point for Cirrus 1 Sierra Romeo. My black Moody, runway 27, line of point, right side. There's traffic off our left hand hey, side, left side now. Moody, left side of the Moody, please. Just scanning for traffic here, a lot of airplanes, a uh, lot of airplanes. Number 8 Echo Yankee, runway 27, clear for takeoff. White and blue Bonanza, runway 27, line Okay, we have a traffic at our 12 o'clock and two and a half miles. He's 500 feet above us, crossing our path. I'm gonna make a right turn and avoid that traffic. We are VFR. I have uh, that traffic visually. Making a right turn here to avoid that traffic. It's flying uh, right through our path. One Sierra Romeo, runway 27, clear for takeoff. All right. Blue and white Bonanza, runway 27, clear for takeoff. No factor now. All right, so we'll go flight plan. T-28 Trojan, runway 27, line of point. Nav, autopilot. White uh, banana, uh, Bonanza, runway 27, clear for takeoff. All right. All right, we'll do our after uh, takeoffs here. Okay, we were busy looking for traffic and it's sea and avoid. We departed VFR. So we got the gear up, the flaps are up, the throttles are the climb detent. The pack safety switch is not required. Exterior lights are good. Pressurization is climbing, diffs coming up, and altimeters to go at 18, but we're going to 16.5. So we're just monitoring guard right now until we pick up flight following. We are in an active uh, mower right now. So we're just uh, being cognizant of traffic. There is some restricted airspace about uh, 80 to 100 miles uh, in front of us. So we're gonna have to deviate around that until we can pick up our IFR clearance. Okay, we're so we do have some clouds in front of us here. We are VFR, so we're gonna stop 12,500 for now. Let that level off here. All right, cool. Go into the cruise detent. So that was a very interesting departing Oshkosh. We did have an IFR slot. However, obviously you guys heard there was congestion, IFR delays over an hour. So we departed VFR. It's always super important to have a backup plan. We did brief, but if we did have to depart VFR, fuel planning, TFRs, no TAMs, airspace constraints, restrictions along our route of flight. So we put uh, just over 4,700 pounds of fuel on board. We only needed about 2,200 pounds to get to Jackson. So. Um, always good to plan ahead and have uh, multiple backup plans. There's no TFRs along our route of flight, um, a little bit of restricted airspace, but uh, we'll be uh, deviating around that. And uh, besides that, we are looking uh, really good. Down the line, we'll pick up the IFR, but uh, for now we're just uh, at 12,500 feet VFR until we can pick up our IFR clearance a little bit later on. So always good to, again, have a backup plan, have uh, print all your charts out, make sure you do have the uh, the VFR and uh, and all your different uh, signs ready to go because things can change very very quickly. So put that away now. Minneapolis, good morning. Citation T Romeo Fox at 12.550 to the uh, west of Oshkosh. 12.5 looks like a buy park there in Jackson. Hold, please. Uh, T Romeo Foxtrot, 12.5, uh, 40 uh, west of Oshkosh, pick up IFR to Jackson Hole, please. Or, uh, to whoever that is west of Oshkosh, contact Chicago Center 133.3. 33, thanks, T Romeo Fox. Chicago, good morning, citation T Romeo Foxtrot, 12.5, 45 west of Oshkosh, pick up IFR clearance, please. Number 2 Romeo Foxtrot, Chicago Center, Roger, squawk 3217, 3217. 3217, T Romeo Foxtrot, thank you. All right, we got some restricted airspace at our 12 o'clock. We're going to start making a little bit of a left turn. And we're going to fly a route that is 10 miles to the west of Oshkosh. Foxtrot, radar contact, 10 miles east of... Skywest 4051, contact Minneapolis Center, 128.6. 286, Skywest 4051, have a good day. Are you trying to call Tiramia Fox? 
Uh, I'm just waiting for your uh, for you to tag up. I, I didn't get you in radar contact yet. Okay, let's talk at 3217. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, radar contact, uh, one five miles northeast of Volk, altitude indicates one two thousand five hundred. The uh, Volk altimeter is 2992. 2992, to Romeo Foxtrot. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, say heading. Heading 265, to Romeo Foxtrot. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, roger, uh, you are now cleared to your destination airport uh, via radar vectors, Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot. Uh, Charlie Zulu India, flight plan route. I'm going to maintain flight level 230, flight heading of 280. All right, citation to Romeo Fox, let's go to Jackson Hole. I'm going to maintain level 230, heading 280. Radar vectors, Romeo Whiskey Fox, Charlie Zulu India, as filed to Romeo Fox Drive. Number two, Romeo Fox Drive, actually, uh, I'll read back correct, flight heading of 290, so radar vectors for uh, to avoid military airspace. Heading 290 to Romeo Fox Drive. All right, we got our IFR flight level change. 230, heading 290. Get the uh, VFR charts away here. All right, we're in business. That was, uh, I'm really glad we uh, I filmed this video because there's a lot going on, a lot of learning experiences for people to see like, you gotta stay really ahead, you gotta have backup plans, you gotta roll the punches, and uh, safety is always number one. And if something, if you don't feel comfortable, just don't do it. Um, I would not have departed VFR if I had not briefed the VFR departure procedure, which is at or below 1300 feet, uh, heading uh, 270 to heading 360. Brief the VFR arrivals, uh, VFR departures. Um, and had reviewed if there's TFRs along, along our route of flight, if I had briefed the NOTAMs, restricted airspace, all those things that um, would cause an issue for the flight. So um, it's a really good lesson, I think, just to always plan ahead and have backup plans because Oshkosh, it's, it's the unknown, and, and that's one of the reasons why we love it. But uh, it's been a uh, very interesting flight so far. All right, we'll put the engine anti-ice on. The temperature just dropped below 10 on the RAT. Are any IFR aircraft uh, calling in, Wow, beautiful breakout. All right, heading 290, climbing up level 230. All right, there's 18,000 feet. Standard standards. Engine anti has come off, and we're looking great. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, to contact uh, Minneapolis Center on 135.7. 35.7, thanks so much for the help. Have a great day to Romeo Fox. Good day. All right. Minnie, good morning. Citation to Romeo Fox at 18.9, coming to 230, heading 290. For 2, Romeo Fox, Minneapolis, climb, maintain flight level 280. 280 to Romeo Fox, Shot. thank you. All right, we're rocking and rolling. We love it. Romeo Foxtrot, clear direct Redwood Falls. Climb and maintain flight level 320. Direct Redwood Falls up to 320 to Romeo Fox. Talk a little bit about Oshkosh and just how an amazing week it is. And I look forward to that uh, week every year. Ready, looking forward to Osh 2024. But seeing friends and fans of the channel, uh, just uh, an amazing experience. Thank you to everyone who did come out to the Garmin uh, meetup on Wednesday. Um, super stoked that uh, people online was able to pick up some Citation Max socks. We did release the new version. So uh, those are now online on citationmax.com. All the proceeds do get split between two animal charities that my mother is a part of. Um, so if you do want to pick up a pair, it does have a famous Citation Max slogan on it. So I hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, let me know if you like them. Uh, every year we do release a new pair, so uh, let me know what you think. But seriously, thank you to everyone who uh, who did come out and said hello. It truly uh, means a lot to me. The channel would be nothing if it wasn't for for you all who watched the video. So um, thank you. It was uh, it was a great week and um, just super excited to have been a part of Osh 2023 and cannot wait for next year already. And we just left.
Or three Sierra Tango, contact Chicago Center, one two one point three seven. So looking down the road here, um, there were meant to be some pop-up storms in Jackson this morning, and it looks like uh, that has definitely come. Uh, Number two, Romeo Foxtrot, climb, maintain, flight level 430. 430, two, Romeo Foxtrot. 43. So that looks like that's uh, definitely happening. Center, so we got some rain and some storms around Jackson Hole, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. And, uh, we got plenty of fuel if we have to hold or if we have to go somewhere else. Um, we're definitely going to keep watching that. Right now it's uh, 8 miles, uh, thunderstorms, light rain, broken clouds, 13 degrees Celsius. So we're going to keep an eye on that. It's going to get quiet and uh, boring for the next uh, two hours or so. So we're going to turn off the cameras and we'll talk to everyone once we start our uh, descent and arrival into Jackson Hole. We'll talk to uh, everyone in a little bit. All right, we're back on the descent into Jackson Hole. We've been uh, given a few different reroutes. We were meant to be landing to the south, and now we're landing to the north. Been uh, given a descent to 1, 6,000 feet. We've got the approach loaded up, the r nav X-ray runway 1. We're gonna, uh, we briefed it already. Kind of looks uh, pretty cool. We've done this before. Thank you, guys. Splitting the valley and then uh, kind of coming straight in, so it uh, should be a cool one. We got the Weber Raider up on the uh, left, and we got the uh, next rad on the uh, on the right hand side. So performance numbers are in. I'll show you guys again here. Flaps 35, and we need uh, 2,700 feet of runway, and we have 6,300 available. So all that's done, just trying to get everything done before the arrival gets pretty busy. All right, I'm going to start slowing it back. It's going to get pretty bumpy, so we're going to keep 250 knots here. So we got some lightning up in front of us here on the next red. We're going to ask for some deviations. And center to Romeo Fox, we got some weather in front of us requesting uh, about uh, 30 degrees left or uh, 25 degrees right. Two Romeo Fox, deviation left of course approved. Left of course approved, two Romeo Fox, thank you. All right, so that's nasty stuff right there. We got the next rat up, so we're gonna be going to the left of that. And we're still going down to 16,000 feet. Yeah, a lot of buildups, uh, kind of when we cross the border going into Wyoming. So it's been an uh, eventful flight okay, for sure. Six sixteen. Let me know before you turn back on course for traffic, please. All right. So we'll do the descent checklist now. The windshield defog system is on. The temperature dew point spread is pretty tight. So we got that on. Pressurization set. Altimeters three zero two nine set in standby. Lights are good. Landing data is in. Crew briefing. RNAV X-ray runway one approach. It's briefed, will be a right turn off going to Jackson Aviation. Avionics flangements are checked and set on both sides. Um, Kill transfer one, is zero, off. Zero, Lights are good. Passive briefing, no passengers. Seat seat belts are on. Five, seven, Pack one, safety zero, switch zero, not required. Zero. Messages are normal. We're going to leave the engine anti ice actually on. We're in and out of the clouds, and it's, uh, it's still pretty cold. It's minus six out. One thing to mention before, I, uh, before it gets really busy on the arrival I do have Instagram. Meditation Max one if you're on Instagram, be uh, honored to have you as a follower. Post daily content and uh, vlogs and all sorts of uh, more up-to-date uh, posts and stuff. Or to YouTube, which is uh, a couple of weeks behind right now. So, all right, weather radar looks much better now. You can see the uh, lightning coming up on the next rad, and that's why we avoided that big cell. We have the. Uh, the weather radar, the GWX 8000, the new Garmin weather radar, and then we got the next rad, which is data linked in. So it's really good to have both to kind of compare, especially in summertime, a lot of buildups. Jeremy on Fox Jack can accept Joe Gox. Jeremy on Fox, thank you. Good direct Joe Gox, cross Joe Gox, that are above 13,000, 13,000, third on FX, third on way one. Okay, right turn direct Joe Gox, Joe Gox, that are above 13. Thousand fifty on that X-ray. One approach. Two Romeo Fox. Alrighty, Joe Gox, activate. We're going to put that off now. We're going to put the RNAV X-ray runway uh, one approach chart up. So we're all looking really good.
any ice on the wings, we have a little bit of ice. So we're going to put the wing and engine on. And you should see uh, the ice evaporate here very shortly. Three three six seven. Yeah, that one fifty. Look at that, epic. All right, we'll just go back onto the engine only anti ice. We got tower in uh, standby. That's going to be next. Joe Gox at or above thirteen. That is set, waiting for VNAV to come in, which should be momentarily. VNAV path. At Joe Gox, we have a two hundred ten knot speed uh, restriction, so we're going to make sure we comply with that. Horizon 2035, contact Denver 13. And we've been cleared the approach, we'll hit the approach. So that puts the glide path in the Denver standby three, three, uh, six, scoreboard. Denver 2035, and shift sends some occasional light turbulence. Thank you. Still picking up quite a bit of ice, so we're going to put the wing and engines on, and we're getting some ice on the windshield. Yeah, it's all like uh, Foothills 94, level 430. Foothills 94. Put the windshield uh, bleeder on as well. You when you're ready. And center to Romeo Fox. Uh, picking up some light rime here. Outside temperatures uh, plus one out of about 95. Okay, let me know when you get out of it. Will do. Put the tail on as well. That's the uh, tail de-ice on the boots. All right, climbing back up to 38, Delta. Don't normally get a lot of ice there, but we're still picking up some ice, so put everything on for now. All right, speed brakes coming out. Speed brakes retracted. We're going to bug the VNAV down to the uh, glide path intercept. Delta 57, thanks for your patience. Maintain front of a 320. Out of 3 for 320, Delta 57, up. Beautiful. Wow. We've got Driggs right across the Tetons over there, Jackson Hole. Over to Romeo Fox, contact tower 1807. 1807 to Romeo Fox, you'll see ya. Jackson Tower, good afternoon. Citation to Romeo Fox, shot 15 out on the RNAV X ray 1. Citation to Romeo Fox, shot Jackson Tower, report Zugan. We'll call you at Zugan to Romeo Fox, shot. All right, so we'll uh, call the tower at Zugan. All right, now we're reducing speed to 200 knots over Humba. It's cool, we've done this approach in the winter time and now kind of doing it in the summertime is really neat. Uh, below 200 knots. You always want to be about 10 knots uh, below the uh, max flap extension speed just for safety. It gives it a big buffer. We're below 200 Central knots. Power flaps information speed. Alpha current, altimeter 3028. All right, 3028. The next fix is Zugan, and that's where uh, the tower wants us to call them. Glide path. See the pink uh, magenta. Diamond there. Tower citation to Romeo Fox shot, Zugan. Citation to Romeo Fox shot, runway one, clear to land. Good to land, runway one to Romeo Fox shot. All right, landing light is on. You're down. Okay, we got gear down, three green, no red. All right, before landing checklist, the gear's down, three green, no red. Flaps, we're working on that. Need to get below 161 knots. Next item is the speed brake. Speed brake is definitely down. And now we're well below 161 knots. Flaps 35. 
Airspeed cross checked, coming back to VREF. Autopilot and your dampener to go before landing check is complete. We're clear to land runway one. This approach out to set 14,000. Autopilot. All right, autopilot, your dampener is away before landing checks again completed. Slowly uh, reducing the speed back to uh, VREF plus about five. Want to keep a little extra speed in the mountains this time of day, afternoon. The air is becoming unstable. Just in case you get wind shear. 400. Three hundred. Minimums, minimums. Landing. 200. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. That was nice. Speed brakes are out. Station to Romeo Foxtrot, turn around Alpha 4, taxi to parking via Alpha Monogram. Alpha 4, Alpha, monitor ground to Romeo Foxtrot. Alright, Alpha 4 is here, make the right on Alpha. We are clear of the hold short bars, so we'll clean up all the flaps, get the speed brakes up. Go ahead and monitor. Six zero zero six ground. All right, looks good. Flaps are cleaned up. We'll get the trim recentered. And uh, welcome to Jackson Hole, everyone. That was definitely an eventful flight. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Speed fifty seven, runway one, clear to land. And uh, see you on the next video. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon.